Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Skincare Saturday. If you hadn't noticed, yes, we are doing skincare every Saturday for the month of April. Springtime, we might be looking to zhuzh up our tired, dull winter skin, and what I'm going to be talking about is the perfect way to do that, and I am talking about ice rolling. So, if you've never seen this in action, if you've never really heard about it or heard of the benefits, then please keep on watching. Like it said, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, I also do a live stream the first Sunday of the month at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that jazz. So, you know me, if you watch any of my videos, I like to keep packaging, and I did keep the box for the Kitsch Ice Roller, but of course, I can't find it. So, we're just going to have to you know, be super classy and sh I'm going to show you how I store this in my freezer. Big giant Ziploc bag. I'm sorry, it's hefty brand. Uh, yes, uh, so ice rolling. Ice rolling has been around for a while. Icing your skin has probably been around for what? Hundreds of years. Um, obviously applying ice to your skin, it can help to, uh, you know, shrink pores momentarily. It can help to depuff. All that kind of stuff. Ice rolling is basically the same thing. Um, anyway, so it just has this little metal wheel and you put it in your fridge or freezer for up to four hours and uh, yeah. But anyway, you do this after your skincare has been applied. Pretty important, so I've already got my skincare on, so you always want to go in an upward motion. Oh, it feels so good. But yeah, let me go in and just put here what uh, ice rolling is supposed to do. Here you go. So some of them claims is that it's supposed to help with like lymphatic drainage. Um, I don't know how I really feel about that. I'm not a doctor. I would definitely recommend talking to a doctor about anything like that. But kind of like if you have a sprained ankle or something, applying cold will help to reduce swelling. Same thing with ice rolling. So um, I've noticed that if I've had a rough night or if my eyes are super swollen or I just am feeling puffy, ice rolling super duper helps with that. Plus it just feels really, really good. Oh, it just feels lovely. And I have noticed when I do do this daily, because you can do it daily, I do mine in the evening. Um, it can, um, it really does help to, it, it helps with the appearance of my pores. I do have enlarged pores, I have combination skin, I have acne prone skin, and ice rolling definitely helps to give my skin a more toned look. It also helps with these little monsters. So these two are just like scarring. This one's almost healed, but what is a zit? It's inflammation. So ice rolling really does help if my skin is irritated or inflamed. Ice rolling really, really helps with that. Like I have a jade roller that I keep in my freezer. I have a Gwen Shaw or whatever that I'll do from time to time. But ice rolling is just so, it feels so good with it being nice and cool and everything. You can just kind of, I'll just help hold it underneath my eyes. It just helps with depuffing my under eyes. But it just feels so nice and it's pretty quick. I feel like with the jade rolling and the guan sha, or, I'm sorry, I'm totally butchering that, but it definitely, for me, it feels like it takes a lot longer than ice rolling. So, but... But yeah, it's supposed to help with um, bringing more blood to, to the surface, all that kind of stuff, which I would agree. Any kind of massaging or anything, it's going to increase circulation. But honestly, I do it because I do notice a difference in pore size. I do notice a difference in puffiness underneath my eyes or if I've had too much salt or something like that. You know, all those other claims, I don't really know because... Once again, I'm not a doctor, but yeah, if you're looking for something that's super affordable to add into your skincare regimen, if you want something that feels good on the skin and you are going to see a difference, it might not be super long lasting. It might not be everything that, you know, 
all these places that you Google are gonna say, it does make a difference with um, pore size temporarily, you know, and it does help to depuff, you know, and stuff like that. But it feels really, really nice, and um, I do notice a difference when I am good and I stick to my intensive skincare regimen and I do, do use this nightly. Um, super easy to clean. You're just gonna go ahead and uh, when I'm done with this video, I'll just go ahead and wash this underneath water with a little bit of soap and then I'll put it on a paper towel to dry. Once it's completely dry, I'll put it back in the Ziploc baggie and before I go, you know, start making dinner, I'll pop it in the freezer and I'll be ready to go when I get out of the shower, but anyway, I just wanted to uh, share with you maybe something a little extra fancy or anything like that, but uh, I really do like this Kitsch Ice Roller, super affordable. Um, I'll go ahead and link this down below. I'll also uh, link down some similar ones that are cheaper. You don't need to buy anything expensive. There's no need. They're all pretty much the same, so don't let anyone uh, trick you into buying an 80 or $90 ice roller. You don't need it. You can also use an ice cube wrapped in a little bit of uh, you know, cheesecloth or something and gently go up in that upward motion, you're going to get the same effect. So there we go. Budget beauty. Anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you uh, did enjoy uh, today's uh, video and uh, this whole entire month of Skincare Saturdays. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments if you have added ice rolling into your skincare regime. Do you like it? Do you see a difference? Let me know down below. And uh, just so you know, I do have a Mercari page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care, all sorts of stuff. Um, I also have another YouTube channel where I upload seven days a week all about budget food. And I also have a little Facebook group where we kind of get together and we share our good finds and good deals and everything. So I'll have those listed down below if you'd like to check them out. And of course, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto-playing here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a second.